Okay, so when budgeting with variable costs as opposed to fixed costs, it's a little more tricky. We cannot be 100% certain of uh, what our variable cost expenses will be. We can still budget for them, but they are considered projections because we try to project or take an educated guess at what the cost will be. We're just guessing. We have no idea how much it's going to be. We're going to say, well, last year we spent this much, so next year we have to spend at least that much. Um, the best way to project what variable cost spending will be is to look at the cost from the year before. If we spent uh, if we spend $900 on our electric bill in January 2010, we should budget at least $900 for January 2011. Uh, some companies will even say, every year energy cost goes up 10%, so I'll actually budget $990 because that's 10% more than the year before. For our purposes, we're just going to budget based on the previous year's uh, costs. When we do this, we're going to use the following formula for projecting variable costs for a yearly budget. So we're going to take an average monthly cost. So if we go back to our example of a variable cost, every single month we had a different electric bill. So we're going to average them out and say we spend about $500 every month um, on the, the electric bill. We're going to do that by adding or summing up all the values and dividing by 12 since there's 12 months in a year. Okay, so let's go back to our example. Okay, so the formula will be to average the monthly cost from the year before, multiply it by 12, and look at the total amount that we spent the year before um, for our cost. Now, sometimes you can just add up last year's and say, okay, well, that's how much we're going to spend next year. You don't have to average it and then multiply it by 12. However, sometimes you'll only be giving a six-month um, preview, or maybe you'll say in 2010, the first quarter we spent... $800 a month, so how much we're going to spend if we stay on that path for the rest of the year. So you're not always given the entire year's uh, calculations. So always make sure you follow the process of creating the averaged monthly price, then multiplying it by the total months in the year. So example one, how much should Jones Printing Company budget for the fiscal year 2012 for their electric bill payments? Their 2011 bills are posted to the right. So the first thing I have to do is have to add them all together. So $260 plus $403 all the way down. I added those together. It equals $5,256. We'll divide that based on our formula by 12 to get an averaged monthly cost and then multiply it by 12 months. When you do that, you get the original value again. So we have to budget at least $5,256 for the 2012 budget. Make sure you follow the formula though because sometimes you're not given all 12 months in the year. You're only given Oh, that should say 2011. Pretend that says 2011. But make sure you follow the formula because sometimes you're not given all 12 months in the year. So you have to do 5,256 divided by 6 months to get a monthly um, average and then multiply it by 12 months in the year. So try number two on your own. How much should American Printing Company budget for the fiscal year 2012 for their hourly employees? They paid 34 employees an average of $13 per hour for an average of 38 hours per week in 2011. How much should they budget for the hourly wages in 2012? Push pause on your video, and when you're ready, push play, and we'll go through the correct answer together. Okay, so when we do this problem, we have a few steps we have to, to do first, right? First, we have to figure out, well, how much did they spend last year? Divide it by a monthly cost, and then we have to multiply it by 12 to get the yearly cost. So we have $13 per hour that they're making. They're each working an average of 38 hours per week for 52 weeks in a year, and there are 34 employees. So we have to multiply all four of those numbers together. It comes up to $873,392. When we divide by 12 to get the monthly rate of those employees and then multiply by 12 again, the total amount we need to budget for the 2012 year is at least $873,392. If we're a good company and we give people raises, we have to then incorporate that. But at the very least we have to, to uh, budget or push aside for salaries for the next year is $873,392.